Hi, hello. My name is Sripunjay. I am doing the project called Zigbee uh, Home Automation using Zigbee technology. Uh, this video gives a clear description about how to establish a communication between two XB modules. And also, uh, this project is the basis for all kind of automation techniques in homes. So, coming to the hardware required for this project, two Arduino boards are required. These are Atmega Arduino boards, Arduino Atmega 328 and uh, two XB modules are required which acts in which one acts as a coordinator and the other is router and also two Zigbee mo uh, sorry two Zigbee shields are required in order to mount the two Zigbee modules on the Arduino boards and then coming to the remote this is uh, the basis for the entire project using this remote we have to give the input signals which will be received by the Arduino at the transmitter side and the IR sensor which will be receiving the signals coming from the uh, remote and uh, some LEDs and jumper wires and an adapter to give the supply to the Arduino board and USB cable these are the primary things and also the major things which are to be considered to in doing this project then coming to the connections the Zigbee module and the Arduino. Let's have a brief description of the hardware components. We have one Zigbee and one Arduino board at the transmitter side and another Zigbee and another Arduino board at the receiver side and in between these two we have to establish the wireless communication. So uh, coming to the transmitter side we have to mainly consider about four pins in XB shield that is one is uh, one is input pin that's uh, V in and the other is TX and the other is RX these three pins are one two three consecutive pins in the Zigbee shield in the Zigbee module sorry and the tenth pin tenth pin is ground pin in the Zigbee and coming to the Arduino board we have to mainly consider about about uh, 4 pins 3.3 volts which will be the supply to the XB shield XB shield and then this ground pin ground pin to ground then TX Zigbee TX to Rx and Zigbee Rx to Arduino TX. It's a little, little bit confusing. One second, we have to see. Uh, the input pin of the XB module is connected to the 3.3 volts of the Arduino board and the ground pin is connected to the ground the TX pin of the Arduino board is connected to the RX pin of the XB module and vice versa the transmitting mode <coughs> that is the TX mode of XB module is connected to the RX, board of, RX uh, pin of the Arduino board the same connection supply here in the receiving side uh, and also one main thing we have to consider here we are using two Zigbee modules of series 2 not series 1 we have to mainly consider about that thing particularly because uh, series 2 and series 1 are uh, <coughs> having a wide difference in series 1 considering series 1 Zigbee modules there will be no more coordinating there will be no more configuration we have to set that means we have to we did not con we did not configure those uh, Zigbee modules but in series 2 we have to convert those Zigbee modules using a software called XCTU this is the software to configure the Zigbee modules so probably I will be making another video how to configure those Zigbee modules of series 2 um, then coming to this uh, at the transmitter side we have one more thing that is uh, IR sensor IR sensor we are, we are taking here 3 pin IR sensor 3 pin IR sensor is uh, one pin the very first pin is ground pin and the second one 5 volt and the third one output pin here output pin we are taking as 11th pin and so output pin is going to the 11th pin of Arduino board 11th pin and 
5 volt is to the 5 volt and ground to the ground that's clear so may, um, watching again v in to the 3.3 volts tx to rx rx to tx then ground to ground this is the connections between xb module and arduino and coming to the ir sensor and, and, and in between arduino 3 volt sorry uh, 5 volt to 5 volt ground to ground and then output uh, in the program i have taken the output pin as 11th pin so i am connected to the I have connected that to 11th pin so that's clear in the receiving set the v in pin is connected to same as above the 3.3 and the transmitting pin is connected to receiving of arduino and the receiving pin of zigbee is connected to transmitting of arduino here no more sensor is required and uh, the arduino sorry the ground pin of arduino is connected to the ground pin of xb2 xb module which is acting as router this is router and this is coordinator that means which uh, sends the signals from the arduino board this is router these are the primary connections and uh, we have to establish the wireless communication by writing a code and first let's see the connections between these practically and one more thing we have to consider is uh, Arduino board while dumping a program in the Arduino board we have to we didn't cons we don't want to mount the zigbee onto the arduino that means if you have to dump a program in the arduino we need not to dump the zigbee module is not to be mounted on the arduino board if, if the zigbee is mounted then we have to demount that and we have to dump a program otherwise the arduino board may be going may be giving the faulty results we have to consider that thing particularly and uh, I am taking the charger. Hmm? First, I am dumping the code for uh, trans. So, I am now dumping the code into the Arduino board, which will be placed in the transmitter set. This is the overall view of the hardware to be connected, connections to be made. And coming to the transmitter program. This is the transmitter set program to be damaged in the Arduino. The first and foremost thing is I am taking the 11th pin of the Arduino as output pin for the IR sensor. You can see there. And the remaining things are to decode the IR signals coming from the IR remote. And this thing, cases. I am using two cases here. One case is to when I am pressing the zero button, sorry, zero in the remote, IR remote, it has to decode the signal which will be sent by the remote and it has to print the digit one in the serial monitor. And when I am pressing the button one in the remote, it will be read as double three triple four zero one five as you can see here, and it, it will be printed as two in the serial monitor. So the things will be making will be made simple by using these switch cases so that's why i am using here i am using here and this all about the transmitting set program and this has to be dumped in the arduino set in the arduino board yeah the program is uploaded Now the IR sensor has to be connected. The first pin, ground pin, 5 volt, and the output pin, 11th, then 11th. So we can observe in the serial monitor when I am pressing 0.
So when I'm pressing zero here, zero in the serial monitor, it will be printed as one because here the program is written like that. When I'm pressing zero, the code which will be read, which will be read by the IR sensor, will be decoded and it's printed as one. And when I am pressing 1, the actual code which will be decoded as is double three triple four zero one five, but it will be taking as 2 as in serial monitor. 2. That's the thing. Now, uh, the Zigbee has to be mounted. Zigbee. Sorry. Then crown and 5 volt and the 11th pin here then the 3.3 volt is to be connected to the first pin of zigbee sorry i didn't want the zigbee itself So the Zigbee shield and the Zigbee module is mounted onto the Arduino and then the coming come into the connections. First pin that is V in pin of the Zigbee module is to be connected to the 3.3 volts of the Arduino. Then second transmitting set transmitting with TX is to be connected to RX. So at the transmitting set the whole setup is made, the all connections are given, all the connections are made and uh, when I press the button 0 here in the serial monitor it will be shown as 1 because the program is as shown uh, this will be re read by the air sensor when I press the button 0 so serial write 1 so 1 is printed in the serial monitor and then when I am pressing here 1 according to the program 2 has to be printed there so 2 I am considering only 2 buttons in the remote we have because uh, in this project in this video I am describing to how to establish a communication between 2 modules to glow a single LED that's it so by using two buttons in the remote I can um, control the LED on or off on or off like that so this is the program with the transmitter set and once the program is done and all the things are done remove the cable from the Arduino board and then connect it to the adapter adapter then the program has to be dumped in the uh, another Arduino for the receiving side. The 
the program for the receiving the program for the receiving side is this it has to be dumped in the arduino so uh, i am taking the output pin as 13th pin of the arduino and uh, the character which is sent to the zigbee module zigbee receiver from the zigbee coordinator has to be read and uh, if one is read that is if if, one, if the character one is read it has to be uh, associated with the digital pin 13 in high state and in second case it will be low that's the program is all about and uh, coming to the connections it's all made uh, the program is dumped and the zigbee is mounted on it and the led one thing is it's missed when i'm telling about the connections in the connections all the things are read but an led is to be connected to check the output the ground the one pin of the led is to be connected to the ground and the other is to be connected to the 13th pin because in the program 13th pin is output pin here that's the thing all about and the program is dumped and we have to check the output finally so there is a transmitter set and here is the receiving set so i am pressing here zero here led close and I am pressing here 1 LED doesn't glow 0 close doesn't glow so that's the thing 0 and 1 to control the LED and this is the overall chart or something like that and uh, if any inconvenience is there sorry for now I will be improving myself and providing more videos on Zigbee thanks for watching bye